to another video. It's been a while since we filmed a video on this channel, but we're growing and we want to keep giving content to you guys. So we're really excited to be doing another video. The reason we're together is because this video is a mobile home remodeled, like the finished renovation of our first single wide. Second. Our second single wide, but the first one we're sharing with you guys, and we're really excited with how it turned out. I kind of didn't do a lot in this. He mostly picked out all the so hardware. make sure you leave a comment about what an excellent design <laughs> I did on this one. But he did go by like what we've done in the past. So um, anyway, so it's all. I consulted with you. I yeah, sent, that's true. I sent her texts from Home Depot. Yes, that is very true. Anyways, before we get into the video, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give this video a like and let us know what kind of videos you would like to see on this channel because we're open to doing more than just like the completed house tours. We can do DIYs, we, um, more vlogs. So just let us know what you guys want to see in a comment down below. Anything you want to add? Just be nice. Just no, oh I'll yeah, I leave be, nice comments. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll take up the uh, Ellen's be kind model. Oh really? You'll be the be kind lady? Be ki no, I'm the be kind guy. <laughs> if this is the first video you're happening upon on our channel, make sure you go back and watch the last couple because we, we filmed a video. The yeah, we filmed a video when he was first walking it before we actually purchased it, and then he took a couple vlogs. You filmed a couple vlogs while actually, we were I think, I think renovating it. We basically took one uh, right when we purchased. I don't think I have a video of walking through before we purchased because when I walked through this initially, the the gentleman who owned it before still lived here. Um, so I couldn't take oh. a video because all his stuff was in here. So we have a video right after purchase, still uh, still raw in its original state. I have a lot to do with the design on this mobile home. I'll just quickly show you the only things that I picked out um, while we're here. As you can see, the house is staged behind me. We do a lot of pictures. We, we always do a photo shoot for our Instagram page. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, I'll have it on the screen here. But we not only like to share mobile home remodeling inspiration, but also home decor and interior design inspiration as well because that's stuff that I'm into. So the color scheme in this house is pretty much the same as all of our other ones are. We like to do white throughout the house because no one can really hate white and it gives the owner, the new homeowner, a blank canvas to work with. So the first thing, so the first thing I did was I picked out the knobs. I picked out black knobs off of Amazon because I really like the contrast with the white. Um, and they're very inexpensive on Amazon, so I'll have the link down below if you are interested. I'm bringing little touches that I noticed there into a mobile home. So what I did this time was I added these little poles because I noticed one thing a lot of people are doing is knobs on all doors and poles on all drawers. And because these all had a mobile home, because all of these drawers had a hole already drilled in the middle, I went with these um, I went with these poles that only needed. I went with these poles that only needed one screw in the middle to hold them on. So I thought it was a really cute touch. I, I really like this look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Those are from Amazon as well, so we'll link them too. Okay, and now we'll just let Daniel take over. So we're going to start outside, just kind of touch up on uh, what we did out here. We really left the, uh, the deck as it is. It's a large deck. We went ahead and painted it. And uh, a lot of what we did here was just making sure that they could use the space, uh, limited space in a single wide mobile home. So basically this is all covered space where you can get outside and, and take advantage of that. Extended living space. Yeah. Basically small, small area, backyard, you have a little bitty uh, shed. Uh, but what we did was, if you guys remember from the first video, if you haven't seen it already, it started out very yellow and green. And, uh, and we called it the Green Bay Packer House. It's now gray with black accent marks. We went ahead and painted the door black as well. I think it looks really nice. And then threw in this uh, outdoor light as a, as a small piece. Okay, let's go inside. Follow me in. <laughs> Excuse our staging props. We just finished taking some pictures for the gram. Gotta do it for the gram. <laughs> this floor is one that we've used in several homes before. Uh, we'll link down below what it's called. Uh, it's a waterproof vinyl. Uh, the home itself is under a thousand square feet. So we did the same floor throughout. Uh, basically at a thousand square feet, I believe this floor was $1.29 a square foot. Um, so you're looking at barely over a thousand dollars for material and then uh, labor. So if you do it yourself, DIY it, it's an even 
less expensive product. So we actually did a poll on Instagram. If you follow us on Instagram, we did a poll between I think three or four different types of flooring and this is the choice that- This was the follower favorite. The follower favorite. So congratulations on picking our floor. It actually um, wasn't the one I picked, so he really loves you guys. <laughs> she, she chose something, I don't remember what yours, I think yours was it a little was more like, warm. It was like, yeah, warm, a warm oak. Yeah, this one's a little bit more grayish. Yeah. So with the single wide, basically every decision was made on uh, budget versus bang for your buck, basically. The countertops were one that we decided to leave because they're in pretty good condition. They're, they give you more of a faux butcher block. It is laminate, but we decided not to replace them. So this mobile home was built in 1988, so this is probably the original laminate, but it's really cool when this, you know, interior design styles come back around, and now butcher block is completely in again, and it looks really, really nice with the white cabinets. If you, uh, if you want to see, this is what the kitchen used to look like. And, uh, <laughs> It, we were, we did refinish the cabinets, uh, which we we asked if you guys wanted to see how we did that. Um, basically, there's a process for um, refinishing these type of cabinets. It's a little bit technical because of the style of cabinets. So if you ever want to know what we did, how to do this, just comment below. We'd love to, uh, possibly in the future, we, we will just do a full video on refinishing those cabinets, mobile home cabinets. They're not really made of real wood. That's, I believe it's color, covered in malamine, so it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a technical process, but let us know if we should do a video on that. One thing you'll notice about mobile homes is that in lack of, due to the lack of space in, in overall square footage, there's a lot of built-ins, a lot of nooks and crannies. Uh, when we first started, our thought was to get rid of stuff like that, but we found that if you just remove doors and leave exposed shelving, uh, you still have some hidden doors down below that you can that you can use. So you have space to hide stuff, but you also have some space to uh, to feature things if you really want. But leaving those uh, small nooks and crannies is huge uh, to maximize the space that you have. Because, like I said, this is under a thousand square feet, so there's just not a lot of room to go around. So let's talk about the kitchen because I really love this kitchen. This kitchen is a lot bigger than the mobile home I grew up in. Ours, we were a family of six with a smaller kitchen than this. And I absolutely love the floor to ceiling windows that this one has. And they're black, they're really pretty. Um, but also to keep costs down, Daniel went ahead and put shiplap instead of a backsplash. And I think it turned out so Beautiful. Like our home doesn't even have a backsplash at all. I would love this in our house. Yeah, so what we did here, we basically, uh, the, the wall was very um, worn. It had some holes, it had some damage. So instead of trying to uh, put in a tile backsplash, instead of trying to do some of those things, what we did is we went with a pre-primed uh, shiplap here, uh, which will repel water and then caulked it everywhere um, to make sure that it does its job as a backsplash. Overall, the the shiplap wall was a, a total of about $150 in materials and, uh, and then just a couple hours of labor to get this in. So what we have on the ceiling is basically, this is the, the uh, original ceiling. We, it's not actual uh, sheetrock. Once you paint it white, it really does look nice. It comes in like a yellow look. So, but really you paint it, as long as there's no damage, it really does turn out nice. One of my favorite features about this house is the faux beam running along the center line. Uh, we went ahead and touched it up, made it darker to really, to really accent against the, the white walls and the white ceiling. I know a lot of people complain about um, how much white we use. Well, there is thought behind that. Basically, a white look is very clean. It's the least offensive color that we can choose. Once you start picking red, blue, whatever, even grays, uh, some people will say the gray is you know, sad or whatever the case may be. So white is a good neutral color and it's very easy to accent with dark wood features and the dark floor. This is actually a really nice sized kitchen and it's really bright and airy. I love the windows over here so much. Oh, here's another original feature that we decided to keep. Um, Cause I think it looks kind of cool. What do you think, Daniel? What would you call these? Chain link? Yeah, they're like- This is like a, a, some kind of chain link, but it, the, it actually came in gold 
And uh, because of that, we weren't sure whether we wanted to just take the doors off or leave the gold. So we made a, a spot decision, left the gold. These were uh, a dark uh, fake wood look, a brown look that you can see. I think it um, really updated it. Pictures. And this actually, the gold and the white really actually does well. All right, so we'll finish up the rest of the house. So you got one smaller bedroom. Uh, this is a two bedroom, one bath. So the incredible thing is that you get your bang for your buck where the kitchen and the living room meet. The bedrooms are pretty small and pretty simple. All you have is your laundry space right here, washer dryer. We actually left these as is, didn't refinish these, just left them there. This was a very quick flip, it only took. Yeah, this, this flip only took uh, two weeks to finish, two and a half weeks. And uh, so we were leaving as much as we could. If it looked okay and if it wasn't, uh, if it wasn't damaged, we would leave it. We went ahead and replaced this light here. And uh, the faux beam continues into this room. It's just a nice clean room. It actually opens up into a green space in the back. So you get a little bit of privacy back here. So at the closet, we uh, were able to buy these doors brand new, kind of update them to be white. It's only $120 at, at Home Depot and a simple install. Just stepping into the one bathroom, uh, it's really compact. They didn't do uh, a lot in this house as far as bathrooms. They put all their efforts into the kitchen, so it's a small area. But this is a lot bigger than the mobile home bathroom I grew up in. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is built in uh, for your toiletries and everything. You even have a small medicine cabinet built into the side. We pretty much left everything here, just changed out the fixture. Uh, this is one that I picked out myself, uh, mostly because I felt like it went with the floor. And you did the knobs too. Oh, and the knobs, yeah, we had those left over from another job actually. Uh, the bathroom, I mean, this is this is the part that if, if we could, if we could fit it into the budget, I would just replace this bathroom, or I'm, I'm sorry, this tub. Uh, it is. It does look original, but it was able to be cleaned up. It and, looks very nice. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's one of those things that it got it got cut with the budget. Yep. Anyway, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the finished remodel house tour. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Give us tips, hints, anything, any kind of. Uh, video ideas video ideas whatever just yell at us in the in the comments below also if you want to know, learn a little bit more about us we have a new website livinghoperenovations.com you can hop over there and read up a little bit on what we're doing out here in portland um hope you guys are all having a great day and we'll see you in our next video bye everyone see you guys so a lot of you are curious uh, about the numbers. So with this house, we basically came into it, uh, we're able to buy it for $10,000, almost uh, even with some closing costs. Um, the plan was to put in about 10,000 and to sell it around 25 all in. Um, because of the amount of time we held it, we actually had some, a little bit more holding costs. So we ended up putting about 10,000 in, we ended up doing uh, about 7,000, 7 to 8,000 in holding and sale costs. So all in was around 32 and ended up selling it for 45. So in the end, uh, we didn't get what we were hoping to get. We were hoping, we listed at 50, we're only able to get 45. Uh, I saw some comments that were uh, just shocked that something uh, as small as a 950 square foot mobile home could sell for $50,000 in Portland. And some were even scoffing at the idea. The reality of it is Portland's just a different world than even Texas where I'm originally from. Uh, something like this could only sell for max maybe $20,000 in Texas, even fixed up. Uh, but the reality is in Portland, there's nothing cheaper. As far as anything that's ever been uh, renovated and fixed up that looks anywhere near this nice, there's just no options that are uh, more uh, economical. So that's why we were able to get 45000 We knew that this was the uh, approximate range of what we were going to get for the house. And so... At every turn, it was just a, a, a the idea was to um, to do a good job, but as as inexpensively as we could. So basically, that's the numbers we're looking at. Um, it wasn't uh, a home run by any means, but it was a profitable, fun project, 
and uh, like like we mentioned earlier, only took two weeks from uh, purchase to uh, market, and then we ended up waiting another five months for it to sell.